guys, this is Burger Buzz. We are here to tell you which burgers are best on the block. Every week, we are gonna try a new burger joint and rate their burgers. Okay, so most people, when they get burgers, they get a bunch of add-ons on it, like lettuce, tomato, pickle, things like that. But when we are gonna try burgers for the show, we're actually gonna just have the meat, the cheese, and the bun, so that we're rating the basics of what the burger is. So if the meat's bad, we're gonna know because we're not gonna have add-ons like distracting us from the actual taste of the meat. Uh, so this week we went to Fat Burger, and this was in Buena Park. And there's gonna be nine categories that we're uh, rating uh, the burger on. And there's gonna be grease saturation, meat thickness, the amount of cheese options for upgrades, the price, the quality to price ratio for the burger, the bun to meat size ratio, the quality to price ratio for the fries, and the, just uh, details about the general restaurant and what we experienced there. So for Fat Burger, for their grease saturation, we thought that it wasn't very greasy at all. It was actually pretty dry, so that's, both of our burgers were like that. For meat thickness, uh, my burger, I got a larger burger than she did. I got the half pound, she got the third pound. Uh, mine was pretty thick. How was yours? Mine was about average, just like your homemade burger, maybe slightly thinner. And the amount of cheese, how about yours? Um, my cheese, it was very scrimpy. There's barely any cheese. That's a good word, scrimpy. <laughs> Uh, my cheese, like, I, I could barely tell there was cheese on my burger. When you buy a fat burger, you just get your basic burger, but you have the options to get add-ons. So you can get cheese, you can get bacon, avocado. However, these add-ons will cost you like a dollar per add-on. So for us, we got the burger, then we got cheese, and the cheese was like 90 cents yeah. for each slice of cheese, which is ridiculous. I would recommend not getting any add-ons if you want to save any money at all. Yeah, because everything, and I think the bigger add-ons were like even more expensive than cheese. If you really want a cheap burger place, this is not the place to go. <laughs> and as for price, uh, Audrey's uh, medium burger was five seventy eight With cheese. And that's including cheese. And then uh, I got the larger burger, and that was six seventy eight. dollars um, And so for the quality to price ratio, uh, what would you give it? Out of 10? Mm, out of 10, I would give it like a 6. Because I thought six. the quality for the price, if I'm going to pay 6 bucks for a burger, I'm expecting quality burger. I mean, yeah. I can put it in and yeah. out and get an awesome burger and pay like 2 bucks. So. And I would give it a 4 myself. Uh, and so for the, we're going to go for the bun to meat size ratio. Uh, was your bun too small, too big, or just right? Mine was overflowing the bun. I mean, that's never happened. Usually the bun's bigger than the meat, but yeah. they were generous with their meat. Yeah, and mine was pretty much half of the patty was outside of the bun. It was so big. And then for the fries, the quality to price ratio, there was something off. There, It wasn't like, they looked like the McDonald's fries. They were the skinny sh shoestring fries. But for some reason, they just tasted off. Like they weren't, they weren't rubbery. They were good crunch level, but at the same time, they just tasted like maybe it was a bad batch of oil. Like they used old oil or something. Or maybe like the cook stuck them in his armpit before he gave them to us or something <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, so we, not sure. <laughs> for the quality price ratio, they were nasty fries, and they were really expensive. They were like two fifty for like a container, maybe that that big. Maybe low quality to price ratio, maybe yeah. like a four. Yeah, I'd even go even lower to like a 2.5. <laughs> so, the and 0.5 is really necessary. For the general restaurant, uh, just details about it that we noticed. Uh, one of the things I noticed is on their wall, they had pictures of people who had completed the triple XL challenge, which is, uh, I think it's a three patty cheeseburger that they had to eat. And I think they were all half pounds or something. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and so there were a bunch of people who had finished that. Uh, and got the picture on the wall. So for Fat Burger, we think the overall score, I would give it a five. You'd give it a five? I probably would give it a four, because five is about average, so I'd say it's below average, just because of the price and the quality wasn't quite there. All right, so subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos of us rating burgers and leave a comment in the section below uh, letting us know if you've ever been to Fat Burger or, and what you thought of it if you've been there. And if you have a burger joint in mind that you want us to go to, leave a comment down below or a comment on Facebook. We're out.